In a previous video, I showed you how to get into legacy mode. If you go to the command search and then type in the word legacy, you'll see that there is a command that's not in the ribbon and the tooltip tells you it will take you into legacy mode. And when you do that, you will get the menu manager. This is the old command structure that you had in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier, but you'll notice I still have the modern Creo ribbon interface. And I showed, hey, if you go into the setup command, you can get to a lost command setup name. But then I discovered something really interesting. So when I was in here, I went to a feature and then went to edit its definition. And you get the model dialog box and here I can go into the section and then hit the define button and this is all well and good let me click the cancel button to get out of sketch mode and then when I did that whoa look at here the interface changed over from the Creo ribbon to the old Pro Engineer Wildfire interface. So let me hit cancel out of this one and you can see that, yeah, I've got the old insert drop down menu. This is how you use to create commands. You have the ribbon for a bunch of common functions. And over on the right hand side here, I have some different commands for the various datums and whatnot. So again, this was how it looked in around the wildfire era and before. And so now when I click on, say, let's go create a sketch on a surface and hit the sketch button, well, here we have the old sketch mode. This is the vertical toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. Once again, I will cancel out of here. And yes, I want to cancel out. So again, I'm back into the old interface. Now there are some of the different common icons missing over on the right hand side. So it's not the full blown wildfire interface, but I thought this was just absolutely crazy that you could get to the old interface for Pro Engineer Wildfire when you're inside Creo. And I'm in Creo 8, I'm in like the latest version, but you can still get to this. And then if you decide, hey, I want to get out of the old interface, well, typically you would go to the applications menu and you can see all the different choices that I have here. And standard should take me back to the modern Creo interface. But when I choose that, not responding, Fatal error encountered, and when you click the OK button, yeah, it crashes. Now, just FYI, here is Pro Engineer Wildfire 5.0, what they were briefly calling Creo Elements Pro 5.0, and you can see what the interface looks like. Again, we have more icons on the right-hand side for creating new features, but you can see it's the same style with the top toolbar of icons and the various different menus. And yes, you are always in the insert menu when you are in Pro Engineer Wildfire for creating new stuff. So this is what it looks like. And I just want to show you one other thing about legacy. I thought getting to the old interface was because I was in an old model. Well, that's not actually true. All right, I am back in Creo 8.0. Here is a more modern model. I created this in Creo 7.0 for a video that I did on whole tables. Let's go back into legacy mode. I will go to the command search and type in legacy. And then once again, select the command from the result. I've got the menu manager and let's try to change a feature. I'll go to feature and then redefine and I will select a sketch. And I've noticed that sketches work easier for getting into the old Pro Engineer Wildfire interface. So when I do that, hey again, we have the vertical toolbar on the side of the screen. And then when I hit the check mark or X to get out of there, I am back into the Wildfire interface. And actually, this is kind of a combination of the Wildfire interface and the Pro Engineer 2001 interface because again, I've got the different drop down menus that were introduced in Pro Engineer 2001 and the horizontal toolbar at the top. Actually, that might have been in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier. 
I've got the icons on the side, but you have the old menu manager from Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier that was used to select the different commands that you want to execute. So again, this is just something that really blew my mind that I'm recording this video in 2021. I'm in Creo 8.0 and I can still get back to the Pro Engineer Wildfire and 2001 interfaces within Creo Parametric. Oh yeah, and as I mentioned, again, if you try to get back to standard mode, you are going to get a crash. So be sure to save any work that you do in legacy mode if you want to retain it later on. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded.